name is Todd Bingham. I'm the broker and owner of Willow Real Estate. I wanted to showcase our newest listing at 12909 Chittimwood Trail in Euless. It is an awesome three bedroom, two bath house. Uh, it's extremely conveniently located. You have access to 360, 121, 183. Uh, we're very close to the stadiums like Ranger Ballpark and the Cowboy Stadium and Six Flags, and yet we're still in ULIS with the excellent HEB ISD schools. If you'd like to see this home or ask me any questions about it, please call us at 817-706-8183. Our office line is 469-324-4141. Thank you. So here we are at 12909 Chittimwood Trail in the city of ULIS. It's a very, very nice home. Three bedroom, two bath. It has a ton of updates, which you're gonna see. It's in a quiet neighborhood, and yet we sat, still have really easy access to 121, 183, 360. Um, it's in the HEB school district, which is very nice. Uh, very recently put in roof. It's got some new flooring. It is awesome. I love this front yard. It has a nice little patio here. Set some chairs out here. Let's go take a look inside. All right, so it's got a beautiful front door. Here's a shot of that beautiful wood floor. This is very nice. Dining room is, is rather large. You could really put a table, I think, that would sit possibly up to 10 people. Um, it's nice. It's just a great space. So it opens up where you can see completely in the backyard from the front door. You have a kitchen access that goes right here. We've got another door that cuts through there into the dining room. And what I love about it is it is pretty wide open, you know, uh, just standing in here, we can see all the way into the living room. It's kind of what people want, you know, right? It's what I would want. Uh, it's got a gas log fireplace. It's very nice. and even has surround sound built in. Those speakers will be staying, at least the mounted ones will be staying. In the kitchen, it does have gas, which is important to a lot of people. Of course, it's got a stove and all that. It's all stainless steel. Um, there's the fridge nook. So, and I know some people are big on this, so I always like to show it. It does have its own pantry. Some, some kitchens, it's kind of amazing how some don't just have an actual pantry closet. Um, but anyways, the bedrooms are back here. The master's in the back of the house, but these are kind of split off over here. Uh, it does have utility. Of course, there's a two-car garage. That you, cut, you walk through the utility room. Here is guest bedroom number one. That's a queen-size bed, by the way. So these beds, these bedrooms are not tiny. Uh, it would definitely fit a queen. Here's another queen with kind of some chunky furniture, but just to, I like it because it illustrates just how big these rooms are. So, every room has a ceiling fan, of course. Golly, it's a fast pan, sorry about that. Uh, here's the guest bathroom back here in the, for the, for the guest rooms. And I'm gonna keep going around here. Now we're out heading towards the living room again, where the living room and kitchen kind of open up. Um, more of that flooring, it just kind of continues throughout. This is a pretty large space, you know, there's quite a bit of seating in here. So, very nice. All right, and now let's go check out the master bedroom. So this is a king size bed, just to give you a perspective, you know, some perspective in size. Ceiling fan in here as well. It's pretty large. I like that the master bedroom does have access to the backyard as well. So you have, of course, the entrance to the backyard from the living room and then the entrance to the backyard from here. Um, it's nice. And then let's go check out the master bath. There is a large soaking tub. You've got two sinks there, so it's double sink. There is a linen closet. Here's the toilet area. Oh, I like this little built-in magazine rack thing. I know that's no big deal, but I think it's quite cool. Um, here's the shower. It's not any, what I like is there's no like, none of that gold. Not that the gold is terrible, but this to me just looks more up to date. And here is the closet. What I, the, uh, the nice thing about this is all of the, the ridiculous amount of 
the storage that they've built in here. I mean, it is really crazy. And it's still a pretty big closet. It's not like this is some tiny one that they had to maximize. But this is just fully, fully maximized, the, uh, the closet, that is. All right, so now we're going to go out and see the backyard. So they have some beautiful landscaping back here. I'm going to walk over here in the corner just so you can fully see the backyard and everything that they've done. Nice stained fence, nicely landscaped. I like that the, it has the tall fence on both sides. So here's the covered patio area. There is a fan outside too. You know, I could just see putting a TV right there where that bump out is, and this could be just an awesome area. I know there doesn't have to be a TV out here for it to be nice, but a neat little hangout um, area of the home. So it does have gutters back here, by the way, so that'll kind of keep a lot of this area dry. And a sprinkler system, of course. They just put in some new sod. Um, they had some, some dogs that were here for a while and they kind of kind of tore up the grass, but we, we've taken care of that, so it's gonna be nice. Um, let's see what else here. I've got this green space. This is perfect, a little play area. This is definitely big enough to accommodate, you know, like a playground or a play set. And they added these, or they, these trees are here for, for extra privacy, and I think it does a really great job. I mean, it's really hard to even see through there, so you've got some great added privacy. I think this house is wonderful. If you do too, um, then either contact me or your agent, and let's get something going. Thanks.